so in today's lecture we will talk about how to put the data which is there in S3 how to set up a transition to Glacier so we'll talk about what Glacier is Glacier is a data archiving storage the data which is very very less frequently accessed we can put the data into Glacier right and if you want to set a transition back into S3 we can also set up a transition back into S3 from Glacier so what I'm doing here is I am creating a bucket let's suppose I'm creating a bucket called Intalio test bucket I'll click on create after creating a bucket I will upload some data into the bucket let's suppose I'm uploading some data click on add files on the desktop I'm having a bootstrap script I'll put the script click on upload so again the file got uploaded let's suppose you're having a lot of data into the bucket and you want to set up a transition that you want to send all this data into Glacier so right now you can see the storage class of this particular object is standard storage class so I need to go to management I need to go to lifecycle rule I, I'll click on add lifecycle rule the name of the rule is let's suppose new rule go to next now configure transition so we'll set up transition for the current version as well as previous version so whatever data is already there into the bucket I am setting up a transition for it that Amazon the data will be sent to Amazon Glacier after one day I'm setting up a transition for the previous version also I'm setting up that data will be sent to the glacier after one day I'll go to next here I can set up expiration that the my data will be expired after 366 days that means it will be automatically deleted from the bucket click on save so we have set it up a transition then all the data which is there into Intalio test bucket that will be sent to glacier storage class so tomorrow you will see that all the data which is there into the bucket that will be sent to Glacier. So we'll go to the other bucket and we will see that here the data is already there into the Glacier, right? Because we cannot wait to see the data is going to Glacier. So we can see in the other bucket the data is already there into Glacier. Now let's suppose if I will if I would like to download this data I will click here I'll click on download it will show you error oh it's downloading so maybe I have already set it up its transition so it is already there so if I'll click here if I will click on download this time it will show me an error so it is saying that this operation is not permitted for the object storage class that means on this storage class the download option is not permitted so what we can do here is we would like to get this data back to this storage so I will click here I'll go to more and then I will select initiate restore so if you want to get this data back so I'm specifying that I want this data to be back for two days and we are having three retrieval options now the first is bulk retrieval if you are having very large amount of data in that case it will take 5 to 12 hours if you are having a standard retrieval that will take 3 to 5 hours and if you are looking for expedite retrievals it will cost you a lot so here you need to purchase a capacity and every capacity will cost you hundred dollars so I'm going for standard retrieval three to five hours I'll click on restore after three to five hours my data will be available right like this is available so if I will click here click on download so it is available for download although it is there into Glacier that means for this particular object the initiation of downloading data has already been done. That's it for this lecture.